This instructional video will demonstrate how to use Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures to determine the value of mole fractions when given individual partial pressures. In this case, we have a partial pressure for helium, argon, and xenon. And the first step, getting the total pressure, is very straightforward. We simply add those values together and find 1.03 atmospheres as our total pressure. For the mole fraction, we take advantage of the fact that the partial pressure is equal to the mole fraction of that individual piece times the total pressure. And by doing a bit of algebra, we determine that we find the mole fraction of helium, argon, and xenon by dividing that partial pressure by the total. So for helium, we're going to have 0.267 atmospheres divided by the total of 1.03 atmospheres. For argon, it is 0.369 atmospheres divided by the total of 1.03 atmospheres. And for xenon, 0.394 atmospheres divided by 1.03 atmospheres. So these will give us our mole fractions for these three gases. The mole fraction of helium then is 0 0.259. The mole fraction of argon is then 0.358. The mole fraction of xenon is 0.383. And if we add these three values together, we find that the total of our mole fractions is equal to 1, which means that our work checks out properly. And so this is a straightforward use of Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures. We use the mole fraction form and a little bit of algebra to get our information out.